Hey everybody, it's Josie. Welcome back to Cedar Creek Homestead. And today, uh, Cheyenne is making a skillet cookie for her sister for her birthday. Uh, she just happens to be one of those lucky or unlucky people, depending on which <laughs> way you see it, that was born in December and close to the Christmas holidays. My sister's birthday is the 22nd of December, and I always kind of felt like she got a little bit cheated. A anyway, Cheyenne's sister, Jacy's coming tonight to um, Cheyenne's fixing supper for her and having a, this is a, uh, I guess this is a tradition for their family. Instead of cake, they have cookies, these skillet cookies, cookie cakes. And uh, so Cheyenne is gonna show you how, she's gonna put this recipe together uh, for a s'mores uh, skillet cookie. And of course, y'all know, I usually <laughs> have to do the talking for her. Uh, hopefully um, she'll come out of that before long and she'll begin to talk and uh, then she can explain things to you. <clears throat> it's a really simple recipe. Um, you can, she, the very first layer, she's gonna use, of course, a, a cast iron skillet <clears throat> that, pardon me, that has a really clean, um, not really clean, a really good season to it and so things don't stick to it. And the first thing that she's gonna put down is a layer of chocolate chip cookie dough. Now you can make homemade chocolate chip cookie dough but um, Cheyenne is gonna <clears throat> take uh, the the easy road, I guess you could say, <laughs> and use uh, just regular cookie dough. You don't have to use name brand. You could use store store brand. You're yeah, you probably can't because it's cold. Like it was soft. And um, she's just gonna uh, this spread this out in the pan. <laughs> um, this is a 10 inch skillet, and she's gonna definitely use two. Um, Maybe. packages maybe of, of cookie dough um, maybe three she you could make it bigger by just adding more ingredients you know some people have those great big cookie uh, skillet cookies depending on um, what you're making it for you may want to make it for a birthday party and if they don't like cake but they like a cookie um, this would be perfect and so the bottom layer is chocolate chip cookie dough And she's just smushing that around in the pan with her hands. It's easier that way. <coughs> now, do you go up the sides of the pan? No, I just do the bottom. If it okay, happens, up the side. so you can see that she's covered the bottom with, uh, it took one package of chocolate chip cookie dough. Uh, for what is the size of that package, Cheyenne? No. Uh, this is a 16.5 ounce package of chocolate chip cookie dough. Uh, probably one recipe that you would be making of homemade cookie dough do the same exact thing just like you were making a uh, chocolate chip cookie uh, instead of the individual cookies a bar cookie spread that in the bottom you wouldn't even have to make a round cookie you could make a square one in 9 by 13 if you wanted a bigger one use a use a cookie pan um, the the recipe is very very versatile and so her first layer for this is a s'mores cookie her very first layer is chocolate chip cookie dough. And then what do you use? Marshmallows. Marshmallows. Now, uh, you'll notice there's not a set recipe for this. No, this is a fill in as you please. And I just do it until I feel like I've put enough. <laughs> so she's gonna cover the bottom, right? Yeah. I mean the top of the chocolate chip cookie dough. And I guess it'd be just like if you were making a s'more. Some people put two marshmallows on their s'more, on their graham cracker, and some people put one marshmallow. And it, I guess it depends on how how gooey uh, how gooey you want it. And so she's just gonna put how, how she's gonna eyeball it. Is what she's gonna do. All of us that have have been uh, cooks and bakers for a long time know that uh, you get to a point where you're a pretty good eyeballer. And so she's gonna eyeball this and. And I'm assuming what she's gonna do is just kind of fill in the spaces. Uh, those marshmallows are gonna melt and fill in. Uh, you don't want to, I would assume you wouldn't want to overfill no, because it will. with marshmallows. And you could, if you didn't have many marshmallows, you could use the bigger marshmallows, but you would probably wanna snip them, cut them yeah. to where they would spread out more. I, the, the big ones, I think, could you could use them if that's all you had. I'm assuming you could use flavored marshmallows uh, if you were making yeah. something besides s'mores. Um, and so this is kind of what it looks like without disturbing all her marshmallows. She's just got them spread out here on the pan. Hopefully you can see that. <clears throat> and then what is the next layer? Chocolate chips. 
So she's got the cookie dough as her base and then regular s'mores uh, ingredients, marshmallows, chocolate, and the same thing. Yep, you just sprinkle to your, whoa. I would say that to me that looks like probably I'd say probably between a half cup and a cup maybe oh, <clears throat> three quarters of a cup of chocolate chips but hey it's your cookie so if yeah. you want more you know more power to you um, but I, I'd say between a half and three quarters of a cup of chocolate chips then what is the next step another layer of cookie dough <laughs> okay. this is not fat free this is for her, <laughs> her little sister JC's birthday and uh, sh trust me it's she's good she can have she can have the sugar and she'll be just fine she like nine pounds <clears throat> so they so the next layer is so it's like a sandwich it's like uh, uh, cookie dough uh, marshmallows. marshmallows and chocolate chips and then another layer of cookie dough I'm sure this is going to be a little trickier than just what yeah. the first layer was. It's easier if you flatten it out first and then okay. just place it on top. So she's just kind of building her crust this time. Um, I, you could, you might be able to roll it out and it <clears throat> transfer it like you would a top pie crust. I don't know. She's never done that. She's just always uh, made it just like this, and it works for her. And it's less dishes, <laughs> less mess. Ladies, we all know less mess at Christmas is good. <clears throat> okay, so she's worked and she's got all these two, uh, the marshmallows and the chocolate chips sandwiched between the two layers of cookie dough. And now what do you do? You know, I just realized. You didn't put your graham crackers in. Uh-huh. Okay, so she's going to put this into a 400-degree oven and um, start checking it at 20 minutes. It could, depending on the way that your oven is, it could take a little bit longer to bake because it's got both layers of chocolate chip. Now, full disclosure, she forgot to put her graham cracker crumbs in with the chocolate chips and the marshmallows and there's no way to fix that now but so what it is okay <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna modify this recipe and we're just gonna pretend like this is the way it was supposed to be anyways she's gonna bake this right before it's done she's going to take it out she's gonna put a few more chocolate chips on the top maybe a few more marshmallows depending on and probably that would be really pretty because the marshmallows will toast and she'll add her graham crackers then, and then no one will ever know the difference because you don't put a whole lot of graham cracker. You're just sprinkling it in on top of the marshmallows and the chocolate chips. So right before it's completely done, she will garnish the top of it and put it back in and make a really pretty browned um, marshmallow on the top. Hey, and uh, with sprinkled with graham cracker. <laughs> so the recipe, the way she was supposed to do it will be in the description below but who knows she might have come up with another really fun way to do this cookie uh, recipe for her sister um, and it might work it might be really pretty to have the marshmallows toasted and the graham cracker and the chocolate chips on top um, just know the graham cracker is really supposed to go inside the cookie but we're gonna uh, put it in the oven at 400 degrees it will start checking it at 20 minutes We'll show you when she puts the toppings on and we'll bring you back when it's done. We may not get to show you the actual consumption of the cookie because it's for a party for her little sister when she gets here tonight. So anyway, we'll come back when um, we move to that next step. Okay, so Cheyenne is going to put some chocolate chips on this. She's gonna put on some marshmallows. The marshmallows are kind of stuck together, so I don't really sprinkle. <clears throat> and then 
then she'll add the graham crackers. Remember, this is our happy little accident here. We forgot to put it on the inside of the cookie, but we're going to take it for what it is and see if we haven't come up with a prettier, a prettier way to put the graham crackers uh, just around and let them bake into that. And she'll put it back in the oven for, I would say, this cookie dough is beginning to, it's got a little bit longer, but not much. And uh, she'll be able to take it out of the oven and we'll show you uh, when we're done what it looks like. Here it is, fresh out of the oven. This is Cheyenne's Happy Little Accident. Um, and I kind of think it looks nicer than just the way she did it before <laughs> with, uh, I mean, it's delicious the way she did it, but with the uh, marshmallows and chocolate chips and graham crackers on top, you can definitely tell that it's a s'more cookie. And um, we hope that you like this recipe, that you try it either way, the way it's supposed to or the, the happy new way that we did it. Um, until next time, this is Josie. I love you guys. Really do. Keep looking well to the ways of your household. Until next time, we're gone. <laughs>